Hey guys, it's me Komasan. Welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. We got a lot of new stuff, not as exciting as last week, but we got some new Mort stuff, some movie stuff, and some game stuff. So let's get on with the little stuff at first. So let's go over the Mort. So YouTube says we'll feel the upcoming Steve Waggle, Wackland. William Afton figure from Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's, so the FNAF movie, releasing in June for FNAF Movie Wave 1. So there's going to be a wave of FNAF uh, U2's figures, I guess, and it's going to be based off the FNAF movie. So uh, more info will probably come out soon because June's almost here. So keep an eye out for that. And I wonder how expensive they're going to be. We also got more U2's news. U2 says we'll build the upcoming Moon Nightlight based on Daycare Tenant. So and that light's coming out that's based on moon you can probably buy it for your kids or if it's just a fnaf fan buy it i'm not sure why there's a nightlight uh to be honest i'm not sure if anybody would actually use it as a nightlight people probably just collect it but that's really cool that there was a lot of random stuff for fnaf morts so you can basically have an entire fnaf uh based bedroom or something house basically which is interesting uh to say at least we also have more U2's news. So U2 has revealed an upcoming plus of Abby from Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's film. So Abby, uh, Mike's little sister in the FNAF movie, is getting a plus C voice in of herself. I'm not sure if this was a good idea. If we remember that trend that was happening, it was like... It was, it was very disgusting. People were being very disgusting towards this actor, who is a child, by the way. I hope nothing weird happens with this... I see. I hope not. Uh, if because like, you know there are a lot of weird people in the community. Despite it being so big, you're gonna have those people, of course. But that's coming out. There's no release date. It's cop coming. So if more news comes out, I'll tell you guys about it. But it it is a pretty cute uh, plushie. Just I'm concerned a little bit because the uh, weirdos. Also, uh, we got some more hex news. So hex has revealed Spring Traps collector card. Spring Trap. With Lord Golden Freddy and with Lord Chica, plus these will be releasing on May 34th. So that is at the end of the month, like I think the final day of the month. Yeah, it is. So there's a card. Here's the here's a card. I'm playing it right here. So it's pretty cool. We got like Willie Mathen, like far behind him, like FNAF 3. And it's pretty cool. I enjoy it. I like the hex designs. I think they're cute. I like how they're magnets and honestly, probably the highest quality plushies that we have. Which, but that comes at a price because they're very 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 expensive and uh i can't afford them we also got some book news so the official cover of five nights at Freddy's tales from the pizza plex graphic novel number one so we are getting multiple this novel includes illustrated adaptations of unknown construction apps and heterophobia i think that i said that right phobia words are very weird so it's releasing on march 4th 2025 so that's coming about in a year, which is a long time. I think they should have waited before announcing this because that's like an entire year, basically. So not sure why they did that. Uh, kind of dumb in my opinion, but it's coming out. I hope uh, Pinky Post isn't working on it because he is quitting, but she probably did some stuff on it. But hope she isn't. I never uh, read any stories from Tales from Pizza Plex, so I'm interested. I did read the graphic novel for the Silver Eyes, which was more better because I read manga more than tr traditional books. So it was easier for me to read, and it doesn't go, you know, too much descriptions and descriptive words and crap. One reason I'm only like reading books that much because they go into way much, too much detail. Looking at you, Stephen King. Okay, we also got some more news i'm not sure what this is i'm not sure if this is a book or what but uh the upcoming five nights of Freddy's ticket to fun emporia kit has been delayed for the third time so this thing is in development hell basically the kit was now would will now be released on september 23 2025 nearly two years after its original release date of october 17 2023 so this thing has been in the works for a while i don't know what exactly it is if someone in the comments can tell me in the comments below it would help out Help me out but uh i have no idea what this is uh is it a book is it like a old game or something i have no idea but tell me in the comments so i might just do some research on it myself but it is supposedly coming out september 23 2025 but do not get your uh hopes up because it could be delayed for a fourth time so things happen but 
I don't know what's going on. So we got some FNAF news. So, okay, we got some FNAF news. Matt Pat responds to whenever if he's going to appear on the FNAF movie or not. The second FNAF movie. And he says, I don't know. Time will tell. My schedule's open, Scott. So basically implying, hey, Scott, if you want me in that movie, uh, just call me, you know. Uh, I have a feeling that Matt Pat, of course, is going to then be, be in the movie. He might not, though, because he did play a minor role in the last film. But it would be cool to see more FNAF YouTubers in this movie. I would like to see more 8-bit wine, more Darko, because they put a lot of effort into the FNAF community. More Darko, so Darko does a lot for the FNAF community. 8-bit wine, I just, I just love the dude. He's so awesome. He's my inspiration for doing this, by the way. Same with Darko and Marco Plow. But he could be in the FNAF movie. That's the key word. He could. Could. But we just got to wait, maybe. But uh, he's not going to tell us. And finally, we got some game news. So, this is big for you, MetaQuest owners. You can now play Help Wanted 2. So, it's now on the MetaQuest 3, MetaQuest Pro, and MetaQuest 2. So, now you can play Help Wanted 2. The non VR version should be coming out pretty soon. So, you might just have to wait for that. But, you people that own a MetaQuest can now play this game. I'm sorry it took you guys for so long, but I hope you guys enjoyed this game. There were some problems, but I'm pretty sure they are being fixed. You know, bugs and stuff happen, so give them some time to fix out some stuff. I don't... Game development is hard and stuff. You gotta realize that, but this is great news. I don't have a MetaQuest or a uh, VR headset of any sort, so right now I cannot experience the game like I can anyway. I got no money, guys, but... uh this is awesome. I hope you guys like it. Tell me in the description below what you think of the game. Uh, do you guys like the game? Was it fun? Like stuff like that? Because it would. I'm I'm very curious because I never played a VR game before, and it is Five Nights at Freddy's. I want to know if it's scary, if it's fun. From the videos I watched, uh, it looks pretty fun. It looks, in my opinion, a little bit better than the Force game. With some stuff, not everything's better than the Force game. Of course, you know some things are better, some things are not. But it's it's very interesting, and I like the feel of the game compared to the first game, which is just a retelling of the story, basically, with some minor adjustments and changes. But this game is like more like you're working at that pizza plex, and like you know doing a lot of jobs and stuff. And it's it's very cool. But that's all the news we have for this week. Uh, not a lot of crazy news like last week, but it's some awesome news at the same time. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. About 5% of you guys are subscribed, and subscribing will really help me out to reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. But we are so close to 500 subscribers, so please subscribe, guys, please. But I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.